Aberdeen are still on the lookout for a new manager. There's been several names pushed around in the past couple of weeks. Barry Robson potentially could be made official. Neil Lennon could be returning to Scotland. We've even heard the rumours that Chris Wilder could be ready to be employed by Aberdeen. However, there's a new name that's been mentioned. There's a new name that has been talked about as a potential sheep shagger. And that is current Poland manager. Now, I don't know if I'm going to get this name right. It does sound like coleslaw, but I'm pretty sure it's not. It is Ses Law Mishu Yena Witch. Thoughts on that? That is a belter of a name, but this isn't news to me. This has been out in the pipeline for a few days. Almost a week, I'd say. What, that's Sheslo Minishnushne is... Kosla on my fajitas, nay? I am. Anyway, the current polling manager is in the... He, he, he's he's favoured here by a lot of bookies. He's come out of nowhere to be the hot favourite to get the Aberdeen job. And, I mean, the bookies aren't normally wrong. There must be a reason why he is all of a sudden favourite to, to get the, the manager job at Aberdeen. So, I'm assuming Assuming that the club could be in contact with him, would he necessarily want to give up the Poland national team to move to Aberdeen though? That does seem like a downgrade and I don't like playing downplaying Scottish football but Poland, the opportunity to manage in the Euros, the opportunity to manage in the World Cup and he's going to trade that in for the opportunity to get pumped off Darville in the Scottish Cup. It just, it does seem like a bit of a decline in my opinion. Yeah, I, I don't see this happening. I don't even know where it's get linked from. But again, why would you like Poland? You know, they're what? What do you call it? Um, second seed, second seed team in internationals in terms of Europe. Aye, they're, they're, they're a good European side, and, and I just don't know if this guy would leave Poland to to go to Aberdeen. Yeah, I think it's a way. I don't think it's going to happen personally. Unless Aberdeen are willing to spend a lot of money, are they willing to invest? No, you know it's going to be. I know the chairman came out and gave the whole sob story, but it'll just be the the cheap beans on toast option, won't it? Probably will be. Do you want that Domino's? Nah, I'll take the beans on the the fifty p bread. Now another man that has been linked, and I use the term linked loosely. He's been his name's been thrown around, but I don't think he's seriously been considered for the Aberdeen job. But that man is none other than Dwight York, and I believe that uh, Dwight York's the one that had the kid with Jordan, isn't it? Aye, Harvey Price. I mean, if you can't kind of take care of a kid, then can you really manage a fucking team? Probably not. No, well, I mean, fuck. The big difference, isn't there? Is there? Maybe he just couldn't be arsed looking after a kid, but the sheep, so he's like, yeah! Look, Dwight York's a piece of shite, in my opinion. Just abandoning his son like that. I, I've no I've no love loss for, for, uh, for Dwight York, but his former Manchester United teammate, Mark Bosnich, has came out and says that he thinks Dwight York would, A, be perfect for the Aberdeen job, and he believes that Dwight York, wait for it, could win the Europa Conference League with Aberdeen. Thoughts on that? That's absolutely... Oh. I mean, I, I, I like the ambition, but there's fucking no chance. If there's, if there's any team in Scotland that's going to win that, who's going to be in it? It's fucking hearts, isn't it? Yeah, it's hearts. I, I just don't see how Aber Aberdeen, who can't win hee-haw, I don't see how appointing Dwight York all of a sudden they're going to be contenders for the Europa Conference I mean, if they League. they can't win a Scottish Cup or a League Cup, they're not going to win the Europa Conference League. I mean, look at the final last year. There's good teams Roma, in it. Roma and Feyenoord was the final. Yeah, and it's not like you're, it's not like you're going to get to the final without beating anybody good either. For Aberdeen, for Aberdeen to win that Europa Conference League, I mean, the likelihood is. I mean, it would be a good. It would be a pretty good slash great achievement for the old firm to win it. I mean, it's still a European trophy, but at the end of the day, it would be tough. For Aberdeen to win it though, you'd be looking at you'd need to pull off probably like four or five major upsets. Yeah, and that's in a row. Yeah, it's not. I, I just don't see it happening. But here it is what it is. Mark Bosnich thinks that Dwight York could win. Dwight York's pretty much had zero success as far as I'm aware. So I, I just don't see why this guy is going to come in and do a great job with Aberdeen. I personally think he would be absolutely horrendous. There's no guarantee that. How, how do you even know he would get Aberdeen to qualify for the Europa Conference League? They're currently fucking bottom half of the table. I know. 
I actually think I would go as far as saying this would be a diversity hire if, if the White York got the Aberdeen job. Well, you know what? If we can get them, for the f if we can win the Euro Europa Conference League, I'm all for it. You can't even win custody, it's fucking kid, mate. Anyway. He doesn't want custody, though. Well, that's he, he, he wants. If, if Dwight York wants something, he'll get it. Alright. He's like a rapist. I, 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 didn't, I didn't know 50% of this channel was Dwight York fanboys. He's fan fucking boys. pish, right? See, see those United strikers in the late 90s? They just fucking. They had about 10 that were on average, but they thought they were great. I mean, you can, Andy you, Cole, dog meat. Sharing them, dog meat. Are they on for this job? Com too? Combine the four of them together and they couldn't even lace on what, What's the link here? Is it because. Sir Alex used to manage them, and he managed Aberdeen when they were fucking good. I thought it's because you have to, like, uh, you <laughs> afford the, every application has to be minority, no? Maybe, I don't Is that not the law they're trying to implement? I don't know if that counts as football. Is Neil Lennon? It? Neil Lennon in that minority? Well, Neil, uh, apparently not. Neil Lennon, he, he's a foreigner, but he's a white foreigner, so that doesn't really count. Neil Lennon, though, his name also getting thrown about here. I think Neil Lennon deserves a job in Scotland. Well, not just a job. I think he deserves a job in general. He was he was moments away from pulling off massive results with that Omonia team in the Europa League against Man United. And he got shafted twice. He was like minutes away in both games for getting good results. Big points. So yeah, I, I, and he did win. He won the cup with them as well. Mm -hmm. Then they decided to sack him. I, I thought it was very unfair. I think Neil Lennon done a good job at Hibernian. I don't think he done a terrible job at Celtic, but they will blame him on the failure to win 10 in a row, when in my opinion it was just a disaster season. I, I don't think it was all down to Neil Lennon. No. I mean, it, like, and I mean, you got to give Rangers credit as well, let's be fucking real here. Rangers did an invincible season, so... I don't know, not, not everything is Neil Lennon's fault, right, for that season. It was, uh, as a collective unit, Celtic failed big time. And out of, and out of context here... I'm seeing a lot of people say Dembele, Edward, Kyogo. I think it's Dembele, Kyogo, Edward. In, ter I, in terms of best striker? So I don't see how people think Kyogo's worse than Edward. No, well, I think he's better than Edward. I don't know, but loads of people say Kyogo's shit. So what order would you say is? Dembele, Kyogo, Edward. I don't think Edward's that good. I know, I, I think he's good, but I think Kyogo's better. Alright, and to round it off, we're going to quickly go through some of the managers here. You just give me yes, no, or maybe. So we're going to run through I the don't odds. Trust them. No. <laughs> we're going to run through the odds for some of these Aberdeen managers. So uh, let's go. Says, I'll start with the favourite, most likely to get the job, then we'll go down. Coleslaw? Uh, Coleslaw? No. Barry Robson? No. Chris Wilder? Maybe. Neil Lennon? AKs and shotguns. Neil Lennon? Maybe. <laughs> Dean Smith? No. Steve Cotterell? Who? Steve Cotterell. Fucking Castlerell? No. Steve Bruce? Yeah. See, see that see that video where he's in the press or they ask him something, he just looks at him. Yeah. <laughs> you haven't seen that, no? <laughs> what well, do you think he could get How the job? fucking bad is Steve Bruce age since the 90s when he played for United? Nice. And he's actually looked like that, I'd say, for a good 20 years. So what? Uh, it's not like he just looks what like What happened it? between the 90s and like 2003? Fucking stress and managerial he's jobs. Fucking, he grew a sheep on his head. Hey, uh, David Martindale. Mm, hi, I can see it happen. Jack Ross. Aye. Dwight York. No. Steve Evans. Sounds like a comedian. Who the fuck's Steve Evans? Current manager of Stevenage. No. Graham Alexander. No. Sam Allardyce. No chance. Mark McGee. No. Former Aberdeen manager. That doesn't mean nothing. No. They don't go for the same. Especially when you're shite. When Mark you're shite. Warbington. No. The Magic Hat. What, is he in a job? Nope. Be might like. 66 to 1, no. Fuck 66? So this is supposed to be quick fire. Frank here. Lampard? And you're dragging. Aye, right. Frank Lampard. No. Chris Hutton. No. Jimmy Floyd Hasselbank. No. Alright, I think we're getting into unlikely territory here. Joey Barton, 66 to 1. No. Uh, James McFake, current Dunfermline manager. Maybe. Uh, Wait, how, how's he 66 to 1 with the likes of Lampard? Lampard knows he's going to get a nice wee cushy job in the Premier League again, or maybe like top tier championship. He's not going to fucking go to Aberdeen for peanuts. Gordon Stratton, 66 to 1. How are they the same price? 
Uh, is Gordon Strack not currently He's like, behind the scenes at Aberdeen? Is he not like... I thought it was Celtic is behind the scenes at I thought it was Aberdeen, but whatever. John McGlynn. A few people behind the scenes at Celtic. John McGinn? McGlynn. No. Stevie Clark, 66 to 1. No. Alright, Gary Monk, 66 to 1. No. Malky Mackay, 66 to 1. I mean, I don't think it'd be the worst appointment ever, like, to be honest. I mean, if Aberdeen came in for him, like, is he going to say no? No, he's going to say yes. Scott Brown. I, I could see it. Michael Carrick. No. Neil Warnock. No. Derek McKins. Right, I don't want to say no anymore, man. Right, a couple more. Then we'll, we'll bail right. out here. Derek McKins? Aye. Fucking nations. Charlie Adam. No. Paul Lambert. No. Billy Dodds. No. Callum Davidson. No. Ian McCall. No. Emma Hayes. Current Chelsea women's manager. Last person in the betting odds I at 66 to 1. Could she be the new Aberdeen you know what's funny manager? Though, right? A lot of people in the football world would see that as a downgrade if she went for Chelsea women, the Aberdeen. I'd see it as a downgrade for Aberdeen, like. Ah, uh, yeah, but you know, you know what I mean. I, you know what way I mean. Anyway, thoughts on Emma Hayes? Is she a yet? Fucking big chance. no. Hey, I'm gonna say no to Emma Hayes as well. You know what though? I'm actually surprised that a team hasn't came out and took a chance on a woman just for the positive publicity that they would get. I see no reason why. I mean, realistically, like, I don't see why any reason why a woman couldn't be. Because they're artist. fucking shite. Get back to the kitchen, and on that note, that's no, it. No, but in all seriousness, like, it's not like, it's not like you need to. It's not a physical thing being a manager. Uh, be a big uh, fat well, bomb if you want to be. All right, well, well, technically, snooker and darts ain't a physical thing, and where are they? In the kitchen. Well, they're not really, but they're not, they're not exactly. They're on the hockey. Are you on the hockey, Jockey Wilson? I don't think Jockey Wells is going to be the number D-man. No, something tells me not. Till next time, though. Peace.